Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video with myself, Dave, here at Wet Pets and Pals. For those of you who don't know, as always, I'm located in Port Clinton, 3250 East State Road, directly across the street from the Thor Airport. You should be able to Google search us up on Maps or Apple or anything else and be able to find your way here pretty easily. Today is a special day for us here. I have two gigantic boxes to open up, as well as we are going to be doing a walkthrough of every single tank in our shop today. So stay tuned, you guys. You are not going to want to miss this. Thanks for sticking around guys. Like I said, today is a special day. Um, it is February something on a Thursday. I don't even know what today's date is, but we are gonna go through these two small boxes pretty quickly. I don't care what day it is. We're gonna go through these boxes pretty quickly um, and then we're going to jump on over and start showing you every fish we have and every tank that we have here at our shop as far as a walk around and give you guys an update on where we're at so far in 2022 uh, as always guys leave some comments down below let me know what fish you like as we're going through let me know if there's something that you would like to see in our shop that you didn't see on this video so without further ado we're going to dive in to see what we got today um, i already pulled a couple boxes off to the side you guys uh feeders i know you guys love feeders we did get some rosy reds and some more feeder goldfish in so that was two of the four boxes that I got today. These are Rummy Nose Tetras. We are slowly trying to add to the stock that we have. We've had some troubles with these guys lately. Um, but through quarantine and everything else, the ones you see on the floor are doing really, really good. These are some sword tails, looks like some wags, velvet wags, I think is what they're called, I don't remember. It's not the most exciting video today. Um, some assorted angels, some fancy angels. But like I said, I didn't want to do a whole lot this week because I do kind of want to walk you guys through our shop unclean. We haven't done a single water change yet this week. Um, I just want to kind of show you guys a uh, what I would consider dirty tank day <laughs> where you guys love them. I think they need clean and kind of the process of what everything looks like before and after. Um, these are Red Racer Nerite Snails. I know the video is not going to do these guys much justice. Um, I did have some requests to grab some more of these in, and I waited until I had enough people that wanted them before I ordered some. Um, but these are little Nerite Snails. They only get to be about yay big. You're not going to see it. You can try to show it on the camera all you want. Yeah. Um, but the back of the shell will be a nice red. It'll be a nice stripe going through that shell. And then on that stripe will look like what's tire tracks. So they, they look really cool, which is where the racer line name comes from. Tons of mystery snails. Some more sort of mystery snails. I know, exciting. <sighs> Start smashing that thumbs up button for all these mystery snails. All right, box number two. As usual, our weekly order of black worms are in. I already have some more for order next week. Um, I wish I could keep these in mass quantities. One, I don't have the room to keep these cold where they need to be to keep them in mass quantities and separate containers. And if I smash a bunch of them together, I figured out that's how I'm losing them all. So these guys got to have some room where they're not just suffocating each other in the water. Plus it's a lot of work to keep them alive. We change the water in them every day, rinse them out every day. That way you guys are getting healthy uh, black worms for feed. Um, a 
This is a saltwater fish of some sort. I don't remember what it is. Give me two seconds and I'll tell you. It's, well, I ordered a green goby and a blue devil damsel. And this looks like it might be a damsel, maybe? Because it doesn't look like a goby. It doesn't look like a so goby. So we're going to go with the blue devil BG for the damsel. I don't know. I'll let you know here in a second. Some more German Gold Rams. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a green clown goby. I was right. And wrong at the same time. Because I got two of them. Okay, apparently I got more than two. <laughs> apparently I got three of these clown gobies. Saltwater, by the way, you guys. That is a saltwater fish. This was a Fiji Blue Damsel. Um, I wanted to check some of these damsels out for a project that I'm working on. So that's what that guy is. These are leer tail, leer tail um, sword tails. These guys look amazing. Just some assorted stuff. Really, really liking those guys. These are fun. Celestial eye goldfish. So their eyes are literally on top of their heads. That bag does not do them justice. Next on our list, you guys, we had a little camera hiccup there, so we had to fix that. So if you see a glitch in reality there, that was us. Um, these are panda telescoping goldfish. These guys look really, really good, and they're actually got some really nice size to them. So if you're looking for those fancy goldfish, we did get a few more of these guys in. Um, we got some assorted nearite snails, um, some tigers, and stuff along the way for those. Some more assorted fancy angels, and some more German blue cichlid rams. So, with that being said, you guys, stick around for the rest of this video. Like I said, we're going to walk through and show you every fish we have here in the shop and every tank we have here in the shop. Uh, so if you want to see that, you guys, start smashing that thumbs up button now. Let me know. Start begging. Get on your knees. Um, and then we'll get to making that. So stick around. All righty, you guys. Like I promised, um, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of every single tank and reptile, fish, whatever it is that we have here in the shop. Uh, so you guys can see everything that we have going on here right now. I'm standing in reptile room and uh, We have some This guy's tore his cage up. We have some bearded dragons. This is a rescue She's a female and if I had to guess I'm gonna say she's about two years old uh, We also have a baby ball python. That's a common also a female. There's a fire skink in there, but he buries himself um, This is a leatherback bearded dragon um, doing really, really well. Another rescue. This guy's down here grabbing himself something to drink. This is a citrus beardy. And then here we have a few more citrus beauty, or, uh, bearded dragons. Uh, we also carry leopard geckos, which we have four of those in stock right now. We also have a fat-tailed gecko, who you can see poking his head out down there. And everybody's favorite, Frankie. Everyone say hi to Frankie. Hey, baby girl. She is spoiled rotten. Anyone who knows Frankie knows how spoiled she is. Um, we do carry all your dry good needs, reptile fish, all the above. Um, our koi pond, this is 475 to 500 gallons, give or take. Um, this tank is over eight feet long, four and a half, five feet wide front to back. Um, and I wanna say it's like 30, 28 inches tall. Um, so it's a pretty big tank. 
Um, we do have some turtles. Like I said, we carry all your foods, dry good needs, driftwood, stuff like that. Don't forget all your frozen foods, bugs, crickets, superworms, mealworms, all the fun stuff. So now what you guys want to see. Moving on to our tanks. We're going to go quick, you guys. I have a lot of tanks. Um, these are Brashardi Princess Cichlids. These are Julia Chromis. Really nice Tanganyikan. Um, there's also some Apistos in there too. Uh, Pistogramma Alankers. Um, some more Apistos. These are Lamprologus Ocelotus. And more Pisto Pear. This is already sold though. These are the Lamprologus Speciosus. Uh, lots of Crebenzis. Moving over, we got some Electric Blue Ali's. The Amdoka Flame Tails. It's a really nice, pretty peacock that stays on the smaller side. Um, these are the, I have a hard time pronouncing this one. It's the Jeffachromis Mori Orange Lossy Cichlid. It's an Embuna. Um, we do have some Colombian Snowball Plecos in there, plus all these red flush uh, peacocks. The Mulatto Lacoma Island Ivory Head. Um, Red Top Lawandas is the last two that I have out front here, but I do have an entire group in the back, plus some more babies to bring out. Um, some more Mbunas, these are the Msobos and Williamside Blue Lips. Red Top Cobalts and Rusties, doesn't look like we have many Cobalts left in there though. Uh, Lions Cove Afra and Hongai Mbunas. Yellow Lab Mbunas. Coral Red and the Sweden F1 Hongai. These guys are awesome. And again, you guys, these are pre-water change, so you get to see my dirty tanks. Um, Red OB and Bunas, Pelvic and Doka and Bunas, and Bamba and Bunas. Otter Points. Really nice peacocks here. Uh, Bicolored 500s. We just moved all these guys out from the back, so hopefully some of these guys start coloring up soon. I do have a straggler in here. Um, I think this guy might have been, might have made his way from another tank. Eureka Reds. Geophagus Hecalize. Um, these are thread thin. These guys are awesome. Blue Dolphins. Empty tank. Um, Venistus. Got a nice big guy back there hiding from me right now. Look how dirty this one is, you guys. That's called overfeeding big time. So we have to get someone out here to clean this up. So, but uh, these are intermedias. Some blue orchids. Marginitis turquoise haps. Some large males and a couple females in there too. Tangerine Tigers. Taiwan Reefs and the Steve and I White Taiwan Reefs. Some of my favorites right now. These are the Ospot Sanis or Ospot Sanis. These guys are just beautiful. Look at that. Mmm. Beautiful. Lemon Jakes. This will be our last run with the breeder group of Lemon Jakes that we have right now. So once these guys are gone, we're gonna be looking for some new males and females. Um, albino Compressiceps. And regular Compressiceps. I do have a Compressiceps in here holding. Where's she at? Right there. A mouthful of babies. Malawi eye biter compressiceps. Trouts. Restratus with a mouthful of babies. And hawks. So these are the uh, Aristo Christii Malawi hawks. The Malawi trouts. And Restratus sand divers. These are Yellow Blaze Xerox. This dude is the champ in the tank right now. He's got all the males pushed over there. There's like four or five large males behind the plant. And then all of his females over here with mouthfuls of babies. 
That dude is a jerk. I'm gonna have to do something because he's wrecking these guys in here. Uh, Bucochromus notatanias. These are all large and colorful with looks like maybe one male, two females in there, I mean. Um, and a dude is getting his ass whooped. Lots and lots and lots of Mbunas. You guys, I don't sell an Mbuna over 40 bucks. Everything in here is $40 and under. Some of these guys are pushing uh, five, six inches. So for all you Mbuna lovers, out, or all your Obi lovers out there, I'm sorry, I don't sell an Obi over 40 bucks. Um, a regular Obi, that is. Uh, we do have some albino Obis, and those, those are... Those are 50 bucks, but lots. You can call them platinums, you can call them strawberries, you can call them lemons, you can call them whatever you wanna call them. At the end of the day, it's still an Obi. It's still a hybrid, and they shouldn't be sold over 50 bucks for any of them. But everything in this tank is under $40. My albino obies. Trying to get the light to shine on these guys. Isn't working very good, but there's another albino obie, and he's the boss of the tank right now. And we have some more babies. Lots of frontosas. Um, we did sell the big blue there back there. Uh, he's about seven, eight inches. He just sold. But all the rest of these guys in here, four inches plus. Um, electric blue Acaras. Red Jewels. I do have a few Jaguars left and a couple Firemouth Mikis in here. Lots of Polar Blues. Some Parrots. Yellow Lulupis, you guys. Tons of these bad boys. Some of them are full grown. Do I have some assorted Oscars, albino tigers, reds, um, some gold red spotted Severums, and some orange shouldered baby Severums. Lenny Haps. If you don't know what a Lenny Hap is, look those bad boys up. These guys are sweet, and I only have three left. I don't know when I'll be getting more. So make sure you check these bad boys out. Jack Dempsey's and Green Terrors, all these guys are pushing four inches plus five inches. Again, you guys, another fish under 15 bucks. Knife fish, clown knives. I got three of those left, you guys. This is a fish that gets very big, very large. So make sure you do your research on those. These are African um, largemouth Pixochromis Victorian hats. This is a very underrated Victorian, you guys. These guys are color up really neat. So if you're looking for some fun Victorians, here you go. One of my personal favorites right now, the Polystigmas. This is another really cool hat. Um, it is, I believe, in the Nimbochromis family. Uh, kind of resembles like the Fuscotaneous or the Livingstone eyes, but they get the really pretty freckling on them. Super, super cool fish. Uh, red cap Lethernops. I'm gonna call these guys a B grade Lethernop. Um, not many of them have colored up very pretty on the red side of things, but still a really, really, really pretty fish. Redfin Borley Eyes, another fish you guys under 50 bucks. Large, super, super pretty fish. I mean, look at the fins on that male. Both of them, all of them. Large Fusco, female, make a good deal on her. Have a few Victorians left in here, some Chromogenos, 
Um, zebra oblique it ends. I know there was some tomato SP35s in there. There's some crimson tides in there. They're all holding still like, go ahead and move. Who are you? Star sapphires and albino sunshine bangas. Um, dragon bloods, blue regals, and what looks to be like a blue neon or a lemon jake that's made his way over here somehow too. And a white lab, not where he's supposed to be. Got some hybrids down here, not sure what these are. I do know that we pulled the female, or the eggs from a Livingstoney. We grew them out, um, hoping that they would be Livingstoney's, um, and apparently they're not. So, and a large living stony male. So if anybody looking for some cool hybrids, um, I'll do these guys in here for five bucks a piece. Come and take as many as you want. Red Empress. Chilotilapia rodesiais. I do know there's some other rodesiais running around here that came from our shop and they're being advertised as bucos, and they're not, they are chilotilapias. So uh, if anybody has any questions on the rudesiais that are out running around right now, message me privately, and I will let you know for sure 100% um, if they're the bucos or the chilos, and more than likely if they came from either the chilotilapia rudesiais. Um, sunshine bangos. This is the fish I showed you guys on the video earlier. Some juiced up strawberry peacocks that need to be put away. I had an empty tank out here, so we'll throw them out here quickly. These are Fireline Mulattoes. High Reef Peacocks. Look at those stunners, males and females in there. Look at that. Oh yeah. Fire haps and chrysogasters. Chrysogasters are gonna have the spots, the fire haps are gonna have the lines. These are flatescent peacocks, and looks like these two down here are doing the nasty. Red sun peacocks. Mouthful of babies. These are bred here. Looks like a male. That's definitely not a male unless he's just got a mouthful of food. Stuart Grandich Windies. It's a really pretty fish. Everybody loves Bo. Bo is our Mabu puffer. He's like, you gonna feed me or what? He's patiently waiting to be moved into that 475 gallon pond I showed you guys earlier. Um, Bo is blind in his right eye, so he spends the majority of his time in one spot in the tank, which is unfortunate. Um, but uh, hopefully giving him a bigger tank that's more open, he will be a little more apt to run around and enjoy life a little bit more. But he thinks he's getting fed right now. It's like, where's my food? This is my dirty... Uh, Perfectly imperfect tank. We've got starry nights, some strawberries, some dragon bloods, blue acaras, my breeder chilatop, chilatilapia rodesii, breeder in sickness, some convicts, um, sand divers, compressive septs, German strain lithobates, red empress and fire hat, hawks. Bobies, Bichers, guy hating life. Some flag tails, clown loaches, some discus. This is a 90 gallon cube. I did have a mishap with some discus and we did lose some recently. So that's this room. 
on to the next. This is our 100 gallon long plant tank. Some large tiger barbs, some large melon barbs, and some barbed clowns in there. Plus some mystery snails. Who doesn't like mystery snails? Um, filamentosis barb. You guys, this is an underrated barb. I absolutely love this guy. It looks so good. Um, there's a red tail cactus pleco in here in L114. Uh, we also sell the driftwood and the anubias plants, but these are all assorted mollies. These are assorted balloon mollies. Some of them, not all of them are. Stuff gets mixed up in here quite a bit. Some dwarf grammies. We've got lavenders, pearl leeries, pink kissings all in here. The smaller guys right here, these are your lavenders. They're so pretty when they shimmer when they turn. And then some albino paradise grammies left. Buenos Aires Tetras, tinfoil barbs. We moved these celestial pearls over here, um, celestial eyes, I'm sorry, pretty quickly today. One's not doing so hot. Panda goldfish. Ryukins. Von Rio Flame Tetras. Looks like I'm out of the Raphael Spotted that were in there. These are Montezuma Swordtails and some Spotted Pictus Cats. can't even see in this one. These are bleeding heart tetras. And then there's some four line pictus cats in there as well. Um, black nearite snails. This is an empty tank waiting for us to move some fish. Extremely low on guppies right now. Don't have many of those left right now. Neon sword tails. This will be an assorted sword tail tank. So we're gonna have these guys moved out here pretty quick. Gold white cloud minnows and white cloud minnows, Rosbora hats and dwarf emerald Rosboras. Rumminos tetras. I can't wait to move that other bag out we just got. Serpe tetras, um, batik zodiac loaches. There was some dwarf orange Mexican lobsters in there, but I think they're gone. Cherry shrimp. Orange sun-kissed and yellow fire. Blue Riley and black carbons. But I don't think I have any blacks left in here. I think they're all blue. It's hard to tell. I don't know why they were mixed together. Oh, nope, there's a black. Lots of feeder stuff. Move down this other aisle here for you. Neon Rosies, checkerboard barbs and gold neons. Some dwarf pea puffers. Siamese flying fox, green tiger barbs. There were some mystery snails in there, but we moved our mystery snails. These are uh, tire track eels in here, you guys. These guys are cool. I had two. I wonder if one sold. Looks like we're down to one. Albino tiger barbs. Roseline barbs. Or Denison barbs. Roseline sharks. Diamond tetras. 
Um, there were some Hillstream loaches in here, but looks like we might be sold out. Um, there's also Phoenix Tetras in here, which are really pretty. Some Black Bar Endlers and Red Racer Nearites in here. I was telling you guys about those Red Racers earlier. Here you go. Super, super cool. I love those things. Auto Synchless and Black Phantoms Tetras. What's up? How are you? Good. These are uh, some female Congo Tetras. <sighs> Here we got the um, Red Eye Balloon Tetras, but there's also some Splash Tetras in here if there's any left. I don't see them. And these are your regular Red Eye Tetras and some Black Kuli Loaches. Oh, that's something I can show you guys. I got some regular coolie loaches in here. <laughs> Neon Tetris. Lots and lots of betas. Long thin betas. These are all designer betas. This is a Galaxy Koi. This is a um, Nemo. <sighs> Mustard gas. Some more mustard gas. How are you? Can you make that video? Yes. Um, these are the blue damsels that we just got in. Um, and here is the coral banded shrimp and lots of the Astria turbo snails. It's a good cleanup crew right there. Yellow spotted Watchman gobies. Um, there were some peppermint shrimp. These are your Mexican red leg hermit crabs. Again, another good addition for your cleanup crew. One of the green clown gobies we just got hiding down there. More bumblebee shrimp or snails. And these are a mating pair of snowflake balloon clownfish. Some of my personal tanks we're working on. My large Duncan coral we're gonna be fragging soon. My bicolor's hiding or I'd show you him. This is a flame clown. Lots of assorted stuff in here. Purple dotty back, some more damsels. This is a chilled frostbite clownfish, and I'm not sure what that other one is off the top of my head. Lots of frags. The double red. Agassi Epistos. I believe these are all males left. Sharks. Sharks. Lots of different variatus. These are cherry barbs, all males. This is another underrated fish in here. These are your rummy nose rasboras.
black skirt and white skirt Tetris. Some dwarfed clawed frogs. These are uh, high fin and regular sunset variatus. It looks like I have a couple skunk quarries left. Sumo loaches. Some more assorted high fin and regular variatus. Robertsi tetras. Very similar to the bleeding heart without the bleeding heart. <laughs> Um, some tiger botilla loaches and some red tail blue variatus. We have Bosmani rainbows. We have some Celebes. We have some thread fins. I do have a ton of rainbows coming next week. Looks like some fricatas. Um, there's also a really pretty blue panake pleco in here. Um, there was uh, some L177 gold nuggets, um, blue phantom, green phantom, and I don't know if I have any vampires left in there or not. That is a long thin bristle nose. And golds and German blues and lots of ruby clown. There was a large blue phantom plucko in here too. I'm not sure where he's hiding at in there. I don't want to go digging through. Some assorted angels. What's up? Not much. Just get a dozen words. My mom, my mom will be over there. All right. Lots of used stuff. So if anybody's looking for used stuff, I've got plenty of stuff. Free, if not next to nothing, close to it. All right. Bear with me, you guys. I'm gonna try to get into this room. This room needs lots of attention. <sighs> All of our sand divers growing out. They're all ready for some food. And I did get a random um, flower horn in here. Protomalus heretes. Orange and black lithobates. My breeding group of red top lawandas. Uh, breeding group of it's hard to see because of the glare but these are my bicolored 500s it's a breeding group of them yellow blaze xerox growing out fireman's dreams do tate in life had to separate male and female again because this guy always tries to kill this girl and he has beaten her to death so she's gonna be on probably a six month break plus to heal up a little bit she's lost all her color and everything he's beat her up um, the star sapphire breeding group that's our male uh, red empresses eureka reds Female living stony. Some more baby star sapphires. More Z-Rock lithobates. Cutter eye. 
Sunshine Bangas, Lemon Jakes, and a random, looks like Green Terror, how he got in there is beyond me. Marginitis, more red cap Lethronops, some more of those large mouth Victorians, and baby flower horns. Starting to see some really nice red coming through on some of these guys. I'm really excited to see them grow up. Tons and tons and tons of guppies and endlers I need to separate and go through. Um, a Malawi Gar group we're breeding or growing out. Looks like I do have at least one male in there. For sure. So we're gonna grow this group out and start breeding these guys. Um, Brissonose, Plecos, Angels, all that fun stuff. As you guys can see, I have a ton. Um, I know it's a little bit longer video than normal, uh, but I appreciate you guys sticking around, hanging out. Hopefully you guys watch this, hope you guys love it. You guys get to see everything dirty before we go through and clean. Um, once a week, water change, everything. So we have our, we have our work cut out this week. Uh, trying to get it all done by the end of the weekend. Uh, it'll be close. We'll see how it goes. But as usual, you guys, thanks for watching. Stay fishy. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know the routine. Hit the like, hit the share, leave a comment, you guys. Love you. Stay fishy.